What's up guys, welcome to this uh, kind of odd looking uh, unboxing, but anyway, it's kind of just impromptu. I'm at my parents' place for uh, Thanksgiving, and uh, this came in the mail, so I'm ready to open this bad boy up because uh, I'm excited. Um, once again, just as when I was finding this box, um, it was late at night and they had a really good deal on another box. So, there is a box within this box. Maybe we'll find out soon. If I can get it open in time. Okay. Wow. Okay. And there it is. Super Nintendo control deck. This should be the same size as the yeah, same size. Um, I mainly got it because it has foam. Um, so what's that foam there? Right? Yeah, nice. So I wanted to find the foam so that I could put my Super Nintendo back in here with the extra copy of Zelda. So I can complete this box, and then I'll just have the other the box, um, just the regular control deck. Um, hopefully, I can kind of clean that dirty stuff out of there. But um, really cool. I think this was like again like thirty bucks or something. Really cheap. Um, might have been. I'll put the exact price here, but uh, yeah, not a bad price. Uh, this is just pretty much the main thing that I wanted, but this is also cool. I love the Super Nintendo and the Super Nintendo boxes, and it's not in bad shape, so pretty pretty nice, actually. So, cool. What is up, guys? Got another package here to unbox. Uh, trying to do a deal with my friend, uh, another YouTube friend here, and he has the game. And I saw a really good deal on box and manual for this. If you know me, I've been on a Super Nintendo kick here lately. I believe this was about 30 bucks or something like that. I'll put it in down in the description later. But, uh, here we go. Packaged up in the uh, bubble wrap here. We'll see what we got. Alright, so we have the box and manual to Breath of Fire 1. So let's check it out. So manual, little, little edging there at the top, but not too bad. Pretty nice inside. And then the box, of course, has that sticker. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll try to get that off or not. We'll see. But there's the back top. Pretty good shape, actually. For like 30 bucks, that's not too bad, I think. So, got that. Uh, another box Super Nintendo game to add to the collection. What's up, guys? Welcome to another unboxing video here. We got two things here, although this one's probably something else. <laughs> This is what I think I'm looking for, I hope. So, let's check it out. Let's see what we got here. I just got two boxes and I'm not sure what's in them. So I ordered some Super Nintendo game boxes the other day and I'm hoping that's what these are. Two in that one. All right, let's see. That one's a good one. All right, that's a good one. All right, first one up. Wrapped up in newspaper, we have the box for Might and Magic 3, Isle of Terra. And these boxes are like in pristine shape. Like, this guy, um, well, my friend Shad Juice 513 make sure you subscribe to him. He found this guy's listing when I was talking to him the other day on the Xbox. And found some 
some boxes were really overpriced with the guy, but some of them were really good good price. And I found out that I could, I was just seeing if I could hit him like in the middle on the price, and pretty much it accepted like automatic, excuse me, automatically. So I think this was like 15 bucks or something really cheap. This one's really cool. Now this one's a little bit more crushed in here. It's got a little bit more um, damage, but bio metal. Um, a shmup. I have not never. I haven't gotten this one yet. Um, but anyway, looks pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, I see that little bit of the damage there. Not sure why that's. Apparently none of these have the tray. Well, I don't know if that one had the tray, but that's crazy. That's a weird picture. <laughs> For a shmup there, I'm not sure what that's for. Hopefully this is a uh, legit. <laughs> anyway, I'll have to look at the back of this because that's weird. Anyway, and then I got this one more box. I'm hoping that's this is the box I'm looking for. Ooh, careful not to slice me. Must be because it's wrapped up in the newspaper. Uh -huh. So this one's a really cool one. So Biometal was like, I can't remember, I'll put the price there. It's like really cheap, 20, 25 bucks or something like that. My, my Magic was 15, I think. And this one, he only had listed it like, I don't know, 50 bucks or something, 40 bucks. I don't even know. I hit him at 30 and instantly he t accepted it. I'm like, Wow, because this box and this game is not very common, so now I'm going to tra have to track down the game and the manual for this one. But that box is Fire Striker. 30 bucks, man. That's pretty, pretty sweet. It's got the multiplayer adapter. Alright, sorry about the interruption, guys. So we have Fire Striker. Pretty cool buy for only 30 bucks. Got a little bit of a tear up here. Um, a little bit of wear around the corners there. So, of the boxes we've seen, this is probably in the slightly worse shape. But for 30 bucks for this game, I think this game is like an $80 box. Um, so, this is awesome. Um, pretty cool looking game where, like, you can, like, fire this. It's almost like block breaker and you're hitting the ball back. You have to, you're controlling two men and one's, like, stationed back and he'll hit the ball back up so he doesn't fall like it's like the bumpers. And then your main guy is like hitting, I don't know, it's pretty, uh, pretty interesting game. So, um, I look forward to completing all three of these, but, uh, for what, 70 bucks for these boxes, I think it was not a bad deal. It was all free shipping too. So that was really awesome. So pretty cool. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think. Please like comment and subscribe and we will see you later.